I know one of Icolo, Icolo Mo. Okay, um, Afambo, my name is Sisin Zetobo Sigwe, Ezi Ikolo Mo, Ezi Onanando. Ezi okulo ome, ezi umu okulo biya. Um, I'm a writer. Um, I'm an Ibu cultural ambassador. Na akuzi odi na Ibu. I, know, I don't know if I should say I'm a Dibia. Um, if you see Dibia as an expert in knowledge, Dibia, Dibia, an expert in knowledge, master of knowledge, then I can comfortably say that I'm also a Dibia. Uh, every every race, every people, you have a teacher. If I want to name him, I am one them kuzi. Uh huh. So, uh, I teach for those who want to understand the dinana. I teach so that those who doubt about the ways of our culture, those who want to understand it, you have a knowledge. A proper knowledge of what our culture is all about. On our cousin, Mama, whatever I know today, people taught me. Those who are um, those who are also master cultural experts, both um, between the living and the dead, they taught me whatever I know today. So on our cousin, Mama, so it's also my duty today to also teach others who want to understand the Nanibu so that they will be able to have a proper knowledge of what our culture, um, the ways of our ancestors is all about. Remember, those who are seeking will find. Those who ask shall receive. Uh, so those who are asking will have those who will teach them for them to receive the knowledge. Uh, what it takes to get into an ordinary they can see that Zavi do now. It doesn't require money. It requires settling down to know about your your culture. I always say that those who want to venture or return back to Odinana, they should start by asking questions. Uh, so many people think that for you to get into Odinana, you start by El Wago, El Botuchi, El Manden Naofa. For me, in my own teaching, I say that if you want to get into Odinana, the first thing you have to do is to start asking questions. So you don't rush into it. To avoid rushing out. So what it takes to get into Odinana is, one, asking questions. Trying to understand what the culture, your culture, evil culture is all about. What Odinana is all about. From asking questions, then you start taking necessary steps. Start knowing the ways of your own ancestors because... Um, Apart from Uzu Oji, Odinana is not that uniform. Oburo Tunda Sieme can da Sieme. You can go to any uh, this part of Ibo land and you see that their own um, Odibendi Idiche. Uh, Manandi Ibo say na Mbanasunu Manebu Iki Oburofu. Uh, so it's for you to know Odibendi what is in your own house. How you people do your own. So what it takes to get into Odinana is first by asking questions, then learning about the ways of your own people. After doing that, you can now proceed into doing some certain rights. So, um, so what it takes to get into Odinana is first asking questions, research. You know, the questions will help you to compare Odinana, its advantages, its merits and demerits vis-a-vis -vis other religions other cultures of the world then from there you start finding you start narrowing it down you start from a holistic perspective you know what is ordinary from your worldview then you start narrowing it down to your own family to your own clan how it is done in your own family how it is done in your own clan uh, because it's all dependent how you people carry out your own your own culture and then from there you start trying to do the necessary rights that is expected of you as only Igbo or member of a particular clan. So basically that's what it is. That's what it takes. Mba. 
and there is a little sort of difference between a wobble and other nana. Most times, well, it, it depends on your definition of a wobble. Oye ne be be le mo eko wo lo gbuko na agbo. Oye ne be be le na agbo ogbo. Oku ha ta go. Eh eh, oye na atu aja. Depending na it depends on the definition of ego ogbo. Ibi ego ogbo be fast. Man on ego ogbo it what people call okay these days is not ordinary na or ajo ogbo. Uh, because I try to define ogbo with ajo ogbo. Ajo ogbo is trying to force nature. Trying to um hasten hasten up something. Maybe if I did not do self, we are also trying to make what is not there, what is, is not naturally yours, to come your way. If is that is, um, if you mean a wobble from that perspective, I will tell you no. Odinana is not a wobble. Odinana is the ways. Otunde siyeme. Okay, how to go? Yeah. So one can, if you understand Odinana from that perspective, you can see that one can practice Odinana without venturing into that metaphysics. A wobble into mysticism. Uh, necromancy, uh, you know, Odinana is um, the way we bury our dead, the way we honor our dead, the way we conduct our affairs as Igbo people. That is what is Odinana. When you want to marry, there is how we go about it, uh, how we live in the society. Uh, we have rules, we are a rule based society before Ndochabia. So it's these rules that guide our society. Oh, you have to know the So, so the nana bro go go passe. Uh, you know because uh, the nana is close to nature. Oh, the koye na kubo one who is into farming. The person may appear dirty. Yeah, so all depend on it. Odinana is not dirty. It's not dirty. Uh -huh. So, all you need to do is, make a name do is not Odinana. So, you need to do is when we at that moment, if you don't know how to do is, you need to see if you are doing. We can see no one here is dirty. But um, generally speaking, Odinana is not dirty. Odinana is neat. Uh, everybody depends. Um, it depends on the personality. If someone who is dirty is practicing Odinana, Odinana, Odinana may appear dirty in the eyes of. Those who are looking. Only the one meets not practice or the nana or the nana will appear me from, from the eyes of the observers. So it's an individual thing. No, there's no reservation whatsoever. There's no reservation whatsoever. How many for I don't see any bad that I'm doing. Or the nana is not bad, it's the ways of our people. Uh, in fact, I think that any reasonable wife should encourage the, um to encourage the husband to practice ordinana because ordinana won't do ordinana is life eh ordinana is life ordinana is continuity ordinana is the ways of our people oh no we don't just see anywhere that so i don't see why any um, reasonable wife should kind of be a stumbling block a kind of albatross for the husband who wants to practice ordinana Yes, I do. I do. Um, I consider um, Chief Honorable Juan Juan Nabushi as my role model. Um, he has, his teachings has guided me in this path. So I consider Chief Honorable Juan Nabushi um, authority. I, con I consider him my role model when it comes to ordinary. Uh, ordinary can develop an ego economically. Because most times we forget the economic potential of Odinana. Once we go back to Odinana, I, uh, there are so many economic potential. It will attract tourism, tourists to Anibo. Um, besides, it will open up um, a lot of sectors that are dying out. Let's say the carving, even masquerading. I keep saying it, there is economic potential in masquerading. Uh, there is economic potential in all the um, cultural items used in Odinana. Um, even the um, the agricultural aspect of it, it will rapi rapidly develop a new way economically. In this period of unemployment, people do not understand that there is an economic side to Odinana. It will make us to stop looking upwards, to start looking downwards. The more people are coming back to our culture, the more the Ifeji, Megasia, our culture, uh, Yada, Agafia, people will be demanding it 
and all those most of those things are sourced locally so there is an economic economic aspect to Odinana that you have not even looked into then we now talk about the moral aspect since we have jettisoned the way of our ancestors our value system has dropped uh more or weaker and i'm going to say now timely death uh okay all manner of sicknesses and a lack of respect uh, we are embracing a liberalism but now it has to do with conservative um conservative conservative worldview and we know that conservative world worldview has a way of sustaining the societies the fabric of the society so the fabric of Igbo society uh will be um protected with Odinana. Uh, once we try to liberalize liberalize a society it kind of breaks down the fabric of that society then it means that anyhow anyhow any, any anything goes okay Hotago, anything goes and that is not good for any society that wants to thrive because any society that wants to thrive will be built on will be built on principles will be built on some certain values will be built on respect for elders will be built on 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 honoring the ways of the old and once you honor the ways of the old then you see that there is a kind of continuity there will be no breakdown i'm not saying that everything that we are doing is right but gradually we know those ones that are not right we pluck it off instead of totally doing what throwing away the um the the water the baby with the bait, bait water so anybody that wants to venture back into ordinary any young person i'm encouraging the person is good I me mean, i was once a christian today i'm into Odinana, so and i'm happy and i'm better for it i'm enjoying it i believe that Odinana is the future we have tasted the other ways the foreign ways and we have seen its merits and demerits Let, let's take the merits and leave the demerits for them and let's come back to our own Odinana and capitalize on it and those ones which are not good no aspect of efficient not good it's our duty to see how we do what how we fine tune it so I'm encouraging everyone. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. I don't know. If you love the video you just watch, please like and subscribe, and also share the video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you love it. Thank you.